heart attack. Is he okay? Did he pass? It ain't helping. Oh my God. Man. Oh my God. Oh my God. Todd Huffman and his crew were exploring new lands, hoping to find some gold. When Todd started digging, he started feeling extremely unwell. Yeah, I'm gonna get out. <clears throat> you alright, Todd? Uh, I'm alright. I feel a little lightheaded. Todd Huffman then started feeling extremely dizzy and lightheaded. The standby medic then rushed to Todd to save him. Todd Huffman oh, is struggling like, to breathe. I know I got a headache and I'm kind of dizzy. Fortunately, the film crew has a medic on site. Are you okay? How long have you been feeling like this? It's been a while. This was a huge health scare as Todd could have easily lost his life. Thankfully, they were able to find some gold soon after. This, that is actually worth Look picking that. up. Look at that Todd. We've never seen nuggets. As the crew was looking for some gold as usual, they received extremely unfortunate news regarding Jesse Goins. What? Heart attack. Is he okay? Did he pass? It ain't helping. Oh my god. Man? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it turns out Jesse sustained a tragic heart attack and unfortunately did not make it out alive. He was taken to the hospital, but it was already too late. Understandably, the entire crew was completely devastated that such a passionate and hardworking man could just pass away. Know that we've got the coroner's report and Jesse died of a massive heart attack. Uh, the sheriff, the coroner, the ambulance, all said that we Jesse was an inspiration to many of the crew members and they were grateful for Jesse's work throughout the years to honor Jesse by going to work I would like to give Jesse and his family their share of the gold all the way through the crew was at the top of a steep hill mine but then the dam holding the water towards the top of the reservoir broke, causing chaos and destruction. One of the crew members nearly fell to his death and was taken down the hill. Fortunately, he was able to get saved and get back to safety. Ow, that hurts, Fred. This one? Both those two. Jeez. They're very numb. Legs okay? Thanks, buddy. <clears throat> um, okay. All my fingers are numb. Understandably, this was a huge scare for this crew member, but he ended up being all right. The crew attempted to get some gold in nearly freezing grounds. As the machine started to roll in, an unexpected injury occurred. Look out! Oh, uh oh, uh oh! Oh, she just hit the truck. Damn. Holy The relief rock truck driver, Tina. The two trucks collided, causing major concern and worry across the entire crew. 
Unfortunately, one of the film crew members was setting up a camera when this happened and as a result sustained a massive cut on top of their eye. The truck driver understandably felt extremely guilty. I pretty much almost killed a person. I mean, don't, don't be too hard on yourself, it happens. Everybody's, everybody is okay. I can't believe you I just did that, man. It's okay. At 96 years old, John was in horrible condition, and it did not seem like he had much time left. To be wheeled. You gonna wheel me, Pacers? Of course, I'll help you. Bye bye, everyone. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. <laughs> the doctors had saved his leg, but John seemed to know the end. Even though John was able to get his leg injury fixed, he knew he did not have much time left. He started stating his farewells, and this was an extremely emotional moment for everyone there. And flowers are blooming everywhere. Song and laughter nice voice, fills huh? the air. I wish, how I wish that I could be there. Despite his critical condition, he was able to formulate words of wisdom to his grandson right before he tragically passed. John said this to his grandson. You have billions of dollars like, like Bill Gates or Buffett, but I do want you to have one month after this, John passed away peacefully in his sleep. He was an honorable man who had a great impact on the crew. The crew members then started to express gratitude for his work when he was alive. Get back on it because of what he's provided for me and his family and the world and the community. And you look back at that and it makes you reminisce about those great as the crew was working as usual, Tony received an emergency call stating that Mike's truck caught on fire. He immediately went out to check the damage. 13 miles away at Dawson City Ferry Port, Mike's truck cab is an inferno. The truck was set on fire and then unexpectedly exploded, causing significant worry and destruction. Subsequently, the fire department came in to put out the fire. I think that might have been a problem. Well, you know what? Like you say, nobody hurt, no big deal. Fortunately for Mike, on his way to Moose Creek, he parked up before loading onto the ferry. We were gonna bring it across, but I saw it was busy. So I decided to park it over here. 